Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Sparta campaign for the Wars of the Gods mod on the Wrath of Sparta campaign DLC map. And for those of you guys that wish to see the battle that we ended the last episode with in this episode, here it is. We've got, I believe, 7,000 Spartans on the battlefield, and I believe we're facing off against 3,900 there and uh, Argos infantry. So they basically emptied their town of fighting men. They've got the garrison, the garrison fleet, plus, uh, I believe, one or two armies that were kicking around the area that were drawn in as reinforcements. But just look at this host. That we have brought here definitely the might of sparta is here on the battlefield today and i'm very excited to see them in action it's going to be an absolute slaughter but i did notice that uh the argos or sorry the ai in general in wars of the gods it does seem to be tweaked to uh, behave a little bit more competently because as the fleet was uh disembarking here a lot of the archers were undefended and they actually sent one of their light cavalry units over to defend it as they moved their archers into a more favorable position so that was really nice to see and uh one more thing of note um Sorry that this wasn't out on the regular slot, which was yesterday, the Tuesday. I did have a cold all through the weekend, uh, but my voice is just starting to return. So if you guys do look at my schedule for this week, uh, instead of having Thursday as the day off, uh, today you'll get the Wars of the Gods campaign, uh, tomorrow will be 0 AD, and so on and so forth. So um, the day off basically moved from Thursday over to Monday. So you still should have full content for the rest of the week. So let's just go ahead and slide up here. I'm um, going to have them run. Why not? I think they are all fresh, so they should be fine moving forwards. I'm just going to pull this wing uh, back a little bit just to defend against that light cavalry unit. Uh, I don't know if they have any others that are hidden behind the hill as well. Uh, but let's just go ahead and zoom down. It may be a little bit framey because I believe there's like 10,000 units on the battlefield. But just uh, such a mighty and glorious toast here. The men of Argus must be shaking in their boots right now. Look at the balance of power, too. Absolutely incredible. They do have all their units in Hoplite Phalanx, though, which is good. They've got some Marines on this flank. Uh, mostly a mix of Hoplites and Militia Hoplites. They do have some Light Cavalry over on this side as well. And I think we're going to have to slide up just a little bit further. And again, I'm gonna have I'm gonna keep very close to my javelins. I believe. Oh, I've got some helot archers on this flank here. Are they actually? Oh, they're pulling back. They've got their archers that are about to move into melee, or sorry, into a uh, range of my skirmishers. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, what are these though? It's mostly javelin men. So hopefully we should be able to do well against them. Uh, let's see. We should probably get our spears into Hoplite Wall. And they're actually going to move in with their light cavalry here. So I will swing around. Ooh, that's a tempting target. We'll go after the Archer Marines uh, in a second here. No, let's go after them now. Let's try and push them back. And all of my archers as well. I'm going to have to uh, probably put them into a group so I can pull them back right when I need them to move back. I'd say right about now. One of our units has used all good, its so silence those arch marines, which is good. Let's uh, bring some reinforcements in with this cavalry here. Because this light cavalry is pretty garbage. They're not the best. Hold Spartans! Nice, and we're still getting the volleys over as the Argos infantry moves into melee. I'm not going to send the swords through yet. I want the hoplites to kind of soak up most of the fight. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Uh, we're going to need some swords over here, though. That's not what I wanted to see. Wasn't paying attention over there. Oh no, no, no! Don't go in the spears. Change my mind. Thought those were Archer Marines. Good hoplites, hold! Our men flee the field of battle. Come on, swords! This is a shameful display. Get in there. They should come back. I'm thinking. Nice, broke them. Actually, come over here into these javelins. Nice, those are broken. 
Uh, that's Hoplites as well, so I'm just going to kind of skirt right around them if possible. Stay out of those spears. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, definitely helping out over there. Come on, Cav, return. And where are all my swords? Got all my swords here. Let's put them into a locked group and have them charge. Yes. Okay, they've come back. Excellent. Uh, where's my other cab unit? Yep, you keep keep those archer marines busy. I think we're doing well. The swords will definitely help the Hoplite line. Let's actually uh, push some of these Hoplites onto the flanks as well. They're going to be routed soon. And yeah. Grab those archers if you can. And you guys just fire on these marines for me. Excellent. Let's actually get some charges into the backs of the Argos infantry that are fighting hopelessly in melee as if they were ever going to win. Light Cavalry is not going to do anything on the charge, but uh, it might disrupt their formation just a little bit. Well, I mean, that's pretty solid. Did that shatter them? Ooh, yes it did. Wow. Well done, Light Cavalry. Come on, get out of melee, though. And yeah, look at all these infantry units that are just sitting here on the flanks with nothing to do. Uh, can you, Light Cavalry, let's run down these javelins. Yeah, I've got to pay attention to what is routing, because we do need to run them down. Oh, is this the red line, though? Oh, crap, that's not good. So they're probably going to escape. Look at these brave hoplites actually fighting completely surrounded here. Well done. Let it not be said that there were no brave men in Argos. Oh, crap. And actually, all of you guys focus on the general with your archers. The enemy general is dead. Yes. Yes, he is. For glory! The shower of arrows just begin to come down on the general. Oh, my goodness. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Look at them just tanking the arrow fire, though. Like absolute champions. Oh, well, don't turn around, though. They're, they're trying to readjust to uh, face these guys here. And they're actually literally going to pass within a man's width. That's so funny. Okay, let's uh, turn them around so that we can get some better shots on them here. And charge. Turn around, boys. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, turn to face. Turn to face the Spartan swordsman. What are they doing? Why are you, like, not attacking them from this angle? Yes, Commander! Charge! One of our units has used all the There we go. I guess that's a little better. Oh crap, the hell at Javelins have used all their ammo, so they're going into melee. But there we go, yes, that's what I wanted to see. The archers just absolutely destroying them. And there we go, we've got victory. Um, yeah, let's make sure that we kill that general, though. Uh, all archers, stop firing. As you command, hoplitters! Javelin man! Yeah, you guys try and cut them down, though. Let's just fast forward real quick. 
Make sure we kill that general. Could very well be their king, too. I didn't actually see who it was. The enemy general there we go. Is dead. Excellent. And a decisive victory. We actually have an achievement unlocked on land and sea. So I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. So both of the armies were wiped out, which is good. Uh, so it looks like I think only some of the garrison remains. Uh, let's go ahead and kill the captives there. King Leonidas has increased in rank, and enemies of the circle, the brave men of this army have known many victories, only their courage facing the enemy exceeds their skill at arms. And can we push to take this, this turn? We can, let's just go ahead and auto-resolve that. And just slay the men at Argos. Occupy for 9,000, sack for 9,900. Well, clearly I'm going to occupy. Alright, so what do we have here? We've got a harbor. So, yes, uh, same chain, which is fine, so we don't have to change that around. And what is this? Embassy. So, minus two banditry in the local province. Minus 20 banditry. So this guy's more for banditry, looks like. Less to tax rate. And wealth from commerce. Uh, so actually, let's change this, I think, to the ban the other one for... Um, I mean, does this, does this mean that we can get more of the, these uh, more elite units? Yeah, it looks like we can. Skirite Light Swordsman. Interesting. They could be cool to have mixed in the army. And we got some Light Swordsman here as well. Okay. Homoyoi Spartiate. Very cool. Okay, uh, so yeah, we can't really move in with this army just yet. And what do they have here? They've got a 10 stack. Uh, we can definitely move in with this 14 stack, but I'm not sure if we would we would really win that, to be honest. Uh, let's move to right here. Can try and manipulate him. Agent hindered. I would have liked him to defect, but whatever. Uh, it's all about leveling up the spy. We want something for agent actions to make the agent actions better. So let's go for that. Minus 15% chance of enemy agent actions. Oh, that, that actually was not what I was looking for. Oh, well. Uh, actually, could give quite a bit of campaign movement range, though. So maybe I will attach him to an army eventually. Um, are there some mercenaries here? We've got some agrarian axemen and a Creighton archer unit. So what do they have here? Two hoplites, four militia hoplites, and four javelins. And they've got their general. How many how many hoplites do I have? I've got two militia hoplites, one hoplite, and a general. I've got some javelins of my own, plus a lot of cavalry. Could hire these guys. And then move in to attack the general. Yeah, apparently we will not win this at all. Probably because we have barely any infantry. Really, though? Like, we wouldn't? I could easily run down their javelins with my cab. That's just one, two, three, four. They basically have six units of infantry to our four units. Yeah, all right. I, I, I guess I can see that. Fair enough. Uh, so if we hold here... Probably want to give him... Yeah, go down this line to buff up the army, I would think. Campaign movement range is also good. 
Yeah, Commander of Men. We'll go for that first. Oh, although, I uh, probably wanted to get upkeep reduction as well. See, that's uh, upkeep for mercenary units. Uh, upkeep for non-mercenary units. Yeah, so let's go for that too. Yeah, no need to hurry. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely be able to hit them next turn with this army here. And we could probably look at maybe confederating with the Achaean League. If they would be willing to. Athena give you wisdom Low. so that you may speak well and persuade me of your cause. Yeah, they don't want to do anything, I believe, until the cooldown for this confederation is complete. That's that's what I'm assuming it is. Uh, so we're going to need to go to Zakynthos as well. Take that settlement because it's uh, within the province of Ellis. And uh, then we can maybe take uh, this island and see if we can confederate with the uh, Corinthos. But we've got this finished, which is good, so... I think we wanted it's been a little while since I've played this, so I gotta remember what exactly I wanted to get here. Another dignitary, I think that's what I wanted. Uh, because there is one in Leonidas's force, I believe. Yes, he's reducing the upkeep quite substantially, I believe. So it'd be good to get one in Arch uh, Archidemos, I believe is his name is. Yeah, Archidemos. And he actually got a level up as well. Tradition. So armor, melee, defense skill will go for. And campaign movement range. And let's get him the camp administrator as well. Patron of the military, so minus five non-mercenary unit. Oh, is this recruitment cost? But then we upgrade it, basically. I see. Or we could go to this for extra campaign movement range. Yeah, let's go for this. Patron of the military for now. Yeah, because that'll definitely help things out. Armor and campaign movement for you. Camp administrator... Patron of the military. And skilled tactician. He can actually go right up to that. That is awesome. Excellent. So that's going to help out our income just a little bit. So let's take a look and make sure we don't need to upgrade anything. Do have a surplus of food, which is nice. So let's go ahead and get that up there. And I think we were wanting to convert this to something... Because, I mean, the public order is very well and good. So let's just get rid of that. I think I think I would rather have a different building in there. And with this army here... Mercenary, Brodian, Slingers, Ionian, Hippias. Ooh, those would be sweet. Let's move over to here first. And instead of one of these uh, Spartan U's, let's grab those Hippias Lancers in there. And then let's uh, siege Calchas next turn. And then we can go for Andros and Korestos, and that will actually give us a full province up in the north to work from. Uh, although, totally forgot that we are going to have a rebellion here in the next few turns. Hopefully, we'll be able to hold it off. Do have a decent-sized garrison there as well. But yeah, Argos should be destroyed next turn. And then, I mean, if we confederate with Corinthos, how, how many settlements do they have? Yeah, so they got the one here plus these two here. So that would be actually pretty good be to welcome. have. But may Athena strike us all dumb. Nice, we actually got it this turn. That's awesome. So at Corinthos, that actually helped our income as well. So let's put him into there. Got the amphitheater for public order, which is good. We've got another Holosideros barracks. And 
and yeah, we don't want that. How Actually, how's the public order here? What we should do is convert that to the Gymnasia. And we've actually got a jeweler here as well. Very nice. It came with a fleet. Let's garrison that there. Oh, we have actually have a massive fleet here. Oh, I know what they're doing. Because uh, this... Yeah. Oh, an Imperium. There we go. So we can actually get more armies as well. Excellent. Uh, Pranoi. Yes, yeah, so we need this to complete the province. So... Let's have them come over and attack that. I uh, don't know why he wanted any of this. That doesn't seem very valuable. Let's go ahead and get that for campaign movement. We'll get that. Good, 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 good. Oh, and we have another little fleet over here. Could bring this one down to Zakynthos. And that guy hasn't leveled up at all, which is fine. Can he start recruiting some... Whoa! Actually, my income just just changed there. Okay. Uh, dang. Can we disband this guy? Ready for orders. I'm afraid we cannot. Uh, yes, we can. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get rid of a few of these fleets then. So what do we got? We got Hoplites here. Let's get rid of these. Only the only the garbage ones for now. This is a full army here, so. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Uh, unfortunately, get rid of that. Do I have any more armies kind of kicking around? Oh, I've got a full army over here. What is this? Light Hoplites. Could actually strike Athens right now, or Calchas itself. We take this settlement! Besieging the settlement! So let's grab some rams. Let them cower like kennel dogs. And these guys here, if we can force march back to Orios. Unfortunately, I know I just hired them, but they're just way too expensive right now. Uh, let's actually pare this army way down. So let's let's have two javelins. One of them. And what do we got? Four. Let's have two of each of them. Still four grand over. Man, oh man, oh man. Probably going to have to just disband this entire army here. Apologies about that, too. Uh, our neighbor's dog likes to bark at absolutely everything. Yeah, so that almost fixes our, our income problems right there. Hunger for battle. There we go. Positive. Woof. Okay. All right. I think that just about does it then. Do we have any other armies nearby? So we got the Spears of Ares, the Thunderbolts of Zeus, the enemies of Circe, Two Minutes Turkish. Oh, we gained this fleet way up here too. Don't need that. Let's just get rid of that for now. And the Wings of Pegasus. Which we should be able to take this settlement from the Athenians very shortly. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh, so they're actually coming out against us. Okay. 
So what do they have? Hoplites and militia hoplites. Why was the balance of power so good for us when we were attacking, but now that they're coming out against us, it's not? We've got four units of javelins. But actually, uh, we're going to end this episode just a little bit early today, guys, because I want your opinion on this. Uh, do you think that I should pull back and maybe bring in some more reinforcements? Because these are all hoplites. They're proper hoplites, not the light hoplites that we have in our force. Uh, plus, they have a lot of militia hoplites to back them up. They don't have any cav, though, so our two units of light cavalry will be able to ride down their javelin men. So let me know what you think in the next episode, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.